So in question number 16, just the way we did the previous question, 13, 14, 15. First of all, we need slope and y-intercept. So we have to find out slope. Slope formula is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So we are doing question number 16, B part. Uh, let me just write down the points. Minus 2, comma 3. And another point is 1, comma 9. So these, the red ones, are the y and the blue ones are the x okay so you can take any point as two as any point as one but um, i have written this number as second number second point so i will take this as um, y2 so nine minus three upon one minus minus two. See, this is minus two over here. That's why I'm putting it in bracket. So this is the value for slope. You can use calculator. Nine minus three is six. One plus two, six upon three, m equals to two. So slope value is 2. So I got my M value. Is that thing clear? Yes, sir. No. I can take, now I have to figure out the value of C. That means Y intercept. For Y intercept. Okay. So Y equals to MX plus C mx and forgot to write x at any one point i can take either i can take the first point or i can take the second point you tell me which point i should take so take the first one okay let's take the first point so i will write that thing at minus two comma three so what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute all the three values. So my y value over here is three. We know this thing, y value is three. Sorry, y value. And x value is minus two. So y value is three equals to m. m value is two. And x value is minus two plus c. And you know that you can use m solve, but I'm doing it directly. It is minus 4 plus C. I will shift this thing to the other side. 3 plus 4 equals to C. 7 equals to C. So basically, I got my y-intercept, C. So I will write equation y equals to mx plus C once again. So y, m value is 2, x, C value is 7. So this is my final equation, which is passing through these two points. Okay. So based on this thing, uh, do the another part. Question number 17, B part. Quickly copy this point and I will show you the working. So again, we will calculate first step is M. Y2 minus Y1 upon x2 minus x1 so second is this point y2 is what 1 minus 4 minus 1 minus minus 2 so i will be getting over here minus 3 minus 1 plus 2 so minus 3 and positive 1 so i will be getting minus 3 my m is minus 3. How come your m is different? What was the mistake? Uh, sir, on the top, can you just mark which is y1, y2, or x1, or x2? See, it's uh, pretty simple over here. This is my second point, and this is my first point. Okay. 
and always the coordinate is in the form of x comma y x comma y so this becomes my y2 okay one second yeah this becomes my y2 this becomes my x2 similarly this becomes my y1 and this becomes my x1 understood now for y intercept or you would like to try y intercept uh, sir but yeah. for y2 minus y1 is supposed to get 1 minus 4 right yeah 1 minus 4 yeah okay we got it yeah 1 minus 4 is to okay that is what we have written 1 minus 4 yes or no got it got it yeah now for y intercept y equals to mx plus c at any one point i told you so we'll take the first point minus 2 comma 4 so y value is over here 4 m value is what m value is minus 3 and x value is minus 2 plus c so 4 equals to minus minus plus 6 4 minus 6 equals to c minus 2 equals to c so this gives me the y-intercept so my equation becomes y equals to m minus 3 x minus 2 so this is my final equation any doubt in any of the steps 